Today I'll be testing the strength of a CSA concrete garden box panel I made in part 4 of the series. These are the thinnest panels I've cast yet, so I'm very interested to see how they'll handle a load. In my quest for a lightweight concrete garden box panel, I've experimented with several formulas and found a few strong and durable alternatives to regular Portland-based sand and gravel. While working on that, I also decided to try to make the panels thinner. This is the third video in this testing series. In part one, I looked at vermiculite, perlite, and lava rock blends. And in part two, I tested aircrete panels. There's a link here if you want to see how those went. I'll be doing a similar test here, suspending the panels horizontally through their cast-in plastic pipes. They will rest on steel rods in a testing rig where I'll add a point load to the center of the span. I didn't do a surface durability test with a line trimmer on the thin CSA panels, so I'll do that today as well. Now I'll pull one of the 36-inch panels from the garden and see how it goes. Okay, line trimmer test, CSA concrete. Not a mark. That's about uh, almost, almost 300 pounds. All right. Okay, let's do a post-mortem on this 36 inch panel here. Should clean in half there. Everything here okay. Around the pipes was fine. Just got a crack there and a crack there. Okay. All right. Being thin, lacking a stone aggregate, and with only a light gauge wire mesh, the CSA panel broke under 285 pounds. I had hoped that it could take more weight. And I also hope my wife Marilyn doesn't kill me for that. Looks like I'll have to make a replacement. And when I do, I'll use a heavier gauge wire mesh. I like the galvanized hog panel fencing I used in some of my other lightweight concrete mixes. 
But even at the breaking point of 285 pounds, I think the panel is strong enough for a garden box. I like that it didn't show any fractures around the pipes where the concrete is the thinnest. Also, CSA concrete is very hard and durable, and the panel showed no damage at all from the line trimmer test. So, I hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.